Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Our lesson for today is about spelling. And these are vowels and consonants. The 26 letters in the English alphabet are divided into vowels and consonants. A vowel is a letter which represents a sound of the human voice but slightly interrupted by the vocal organs. The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. All of the remaining letters of the alphabet are called consonants. A consonant is a letter which represents a sound of the human voice greatly obstructed by the vocal organs. A consonant is from the Latin con, meaning with, and sono, meaning I sound. So, it means literally, I sound with. The consonants are produced by the union of the breath with the vocal organs. The consonants' sounds are so called because they are always sounded with a vowel. They are used only in combination with vowels in forming words or syllables. Again, a consonant is came from the Latin con, meaning with, and sono, meaning I sound. In English, a consonant alone never forms a word or a syllable. Sound the different consonants B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, X, and Z. By themselves, and you will see how the sound of the breath is obstructed or changed by the use of the vocal organs, the lips, the tongue, the teeth, and etc. in making these various sounds. W and Y are sometimes vowels and sometimes consonants. W and Y are vowels when they are used with another vowel representing a vowel sound as in O, new, joy, I, and etc. Y is sometimes used as a vowel by itself as in by cry and etc. W and Y are consonants when they are used at the beginning of a syllable or before in the same syllable as in wine, twine, yield, and year. Again, I repeat, Y is sometimes used as a vowel by itself as in by and cry. Let us look up the meaning of the following words in this exercise. By mastering the spelling of the following words and use them in your own sentences. Let us practice every day starting Monday to Saturday. Monday. The words are reason, evolution, justice, thorough, and beauty. On Tuesday, words like assertive, review, surprise, basis, and separate. And on Wednesday, words like interrogative, 
period, capital, capital, and function. And on Thursday, words like example, contain, imperative, question, and speech. On Friday, let us use the following words, method, various, familiar, and industry. And as well as the word alphabet. And last but not the least, on Saturday, we will use the following words like travel, sense, sense, sale, and say. All right, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!